All right, y'all. Sorry for the lag. Sorry about the lag, y'all, and the slight delay in me starting to talk. Just want to make sure I was live streaming on Twitch and Twitter. So yeah, I will upload this to YouTube later. So um, I am playing some PGA Tour 2K21. Shoot, we can't invite player or we can't create a private match. Let's see. Well, yeah, I guess we'll just have to um continue a PGA tour. A career, I guess. Hold on. All right, let's go ahead and play the event. Let's see, got some drinks with me. I got some Gatorade Zero Great. Uh, yeah, with me. I got some Gla uh, Gatorade Glacier Cherry with me as well, and I got some. Powerade Zero Mixed Berry with me. I'm going to be talking and I tend to get thirsty and I'm actually a little thirsty right now. Alright. We're at the Hickory Creek Golf Course. Excuse me for yawning. Ah, shoot. A little too powerful there. I was, I've never been really good at golf games. That's not going to go in. Shoot. All right, we're one over par now. That's okay. Alright, hopefully we can go under par here. And, yeah. Well, that's a nice putt. That's a little too powerful. I don't think we're going to get one under par here. 
Nope. All right, I, yeah. I might be a little too powerful. Ah, shoot, it is way too powerful, actually. I don't think we can get it for, yeah, I, like I said, I've never been very good at golf games. Shoot. Bogey. Two over par. That is, well, that's two, three holes. So luckily, we have 15 more to go. All right. Wow. That's good. Two under or one under par for that hole. Ah, shoot. Still too over par. I have to play better though. Okay, you can stop rolling ball. That's not going to make it. Too far to the right. Are you serious? Oh, man. That almost went in. On that third time. We're three over par now. That was a little too much power. It's 
gonna go into the no, oh, no, it's not actually gonna go into the water. That ain't gonna go in. Shoot. Neither is this. Oh, we're gonna be four over par. And I'm going to mute my mic and turn on my face now. To me, the short par four is the most underrated hole in all of golf. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot here at the seven. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. That one's come up short. There's part of about six feet coming up. Ooh, right by the hole. This next putt is for bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Here we are, in front of a par three. A great shot here at the eighth, and a chance for birdie. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down here on the ninth hole, guys. This is Cameron Champ's next shot. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Ooh. Big putt for Pai coming up. Job done. Let's head to the next. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. You liked that, didn't you? It's heading to the rough for mine. And the player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. That was a gallant attempt. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And there it is. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the tenth. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. I'll tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. Let's get back to it, shall we? From around 140 yards here. Choosing the 9-iron here. 
has got this thing dialed in here looking good. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. It was on a good line. An opportunity to make their par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And that's now five over for the round. We find ourselves on a par three here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's a pretty handy shot. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Yeah, not much to sweat there. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. This hole is a par five. And our intrepid on course reporter, John, standing by. Down here on the 13th hole, taking a look at Cameron Champ. Let's return to live play now. Second shot here on the 12th. Getting ready to play their third. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh. And that should secure the par. Well done. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Mm -mm. A thing of beauty. Oh. Let's have a look at Sergio Garcia. Time to step into the bunker now. Oh, that was a beauty. And back to the course with the live action. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. That might be one club too many. Left yourself an opportunity. Uh, a bit long on that one. That's well hold. Sitting at five over for the day. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Nicely done. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Great looking shot, this. Oh, almost went in. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Yeah, that's well judged. In she goes. Let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage.
We have a par four on this one. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. And now we head to the 17th. And this happened just a moment ago. Tony Finau has got plenty of power, but he's also got plenty of finesse. Oh, a little trickery, no doubt about it. An absolute beauty here. Opting for the five wood. Pretty good shot there. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, it looks like it's about 24 feet to the cup from here. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Sitting at plus five for the day. This hole is a par three. Opting for the three wood. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Ouch, that hurts. Right on four feet. Should make this one. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Well, this should find the short grass. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Just didn't drop. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Okay, let's head to the next. John, you're down there. What's happening? I'm down here on the 18th hole, guys. This is Cameron Champ's next shot. Playing their fifth shot. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. Not a bad line, this one. Let's have a look at Sergio Garcia. Time for the fifth shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? And here we are with the third shot. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Wow. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Well, Rich, after a sloppy start, they seem to pull that round together. Well, that's what they had to do. After that opening nine, it was 
it wasn't going to be pretty if they had the back nine to match the front nine. Thankfully, they turn around, got it back on the back nine. Hopefully, a better day ahead. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.